Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Selenix Crypto. Hope you're all doing great and welcome to a quick update on Jasmine. Um, want us to do an update because in general, I mean, earlier this morning, what we saw is that there was actually some momentum um, brewing or some momentum gathering for Jasmine. And in general, I know a lot of you are interested in, in these videos on Jasmine. I know a lot of you are, are trading it. I know a lot of you are holding it. And honestly, and I'm not just telling that, and I'm, I'm not just saying that because I know a lot of you would like to hear this. Um, but Jasmine purely technically is actually still looking pretty good. And, and if you if you just go off of the technicals, you would actually expect some bullish momentum soon. And the main reason for that is that Jasmine, um, I mean, first of all, <laughs> we're, we're quite correlated to Bitcoin, right? I mean, this is basically the same um, structure for uh, that Bitcoin also has. But Jasmine has kind of been consolidating here in this region between ultimately 1.5, like 1.5 is really the lowest support. Um, but I think a level like 1.65 cents, so 0 0.0165 is, is stronger. That's the main support. But that, that's the, the level we've been supporting on for the last uh, two months almost. Um, and then we have this strong resistance level at 2.5. So we are consolidating in this area, which, I mean, that's just neutral. That's not necessarily bearish. Uh, while other cryptos at this point of time are quite bearish. All right, so that's why I'm telling you, Jasmine is actually quite strong. Um, now that does mean that if you if you assume that 1.5 cents is the is, is the main support level here, that does mean we can still drop down quite a bit. Um, and the market circumstances right now are not great. So it doesn't necessarily mean purely technically what this means is that from this support level we have right here, it's most likely that we would get a bounce support momentum and then a rally up to 2.5 and 2.4 cents up here. That's what it means most technically. Um, but personally, I mean, the, like I said, Bitcoin at this point of time is very weak. And if the unrest in the world really continues, Bitcoin will continue to fall and that will have a disastrous effect on Jasmine too. Um, and if you look at the, if, if you look at Jasmine on the one hour time frame, this looks quite bearish. All right. I mean, that's uh, we're making lower highs right here. Um, it's a bit difficult to estimate what to use. I mean, just in general, a trend line cannot be used, but we're making lower highs. And we're also not gaining that much support from 1.65 cents, which should be our main support level. Now, what's interesting to, uh, to, to, to be a little bit more optimistic and to be a little bit more positive is what happened this morning, because this morning what happens is that uh, Jasmine actually did gain some, some momentum here. And that has not always led to something. But if you look at the past and you look at every time we got an open interest scandal like this. So basically what happened this morning is that about $4 million in, uh, in positions were opened. And if you look at that and, and you look at it historically, usually that has been quite positive. All right. And you can also see that it's mostly uh, long orders here. Um, or at least so it seems. I'm not actually sure. It's, it's pretty mixed, but a lot of positions opened here. Every other time that happened in the past, that such a big candle was was opened, we actually did get some bullish momentum, right? At least in the at least in the past two weeks or so. Um, so I actually do think it's most likely that Jasmine will get some bullish momentum up here. I think the only way we can actually get back up to the top of the range, so 2.4 and 2.5 cents, is uh, well, two things need to happen. First of all, Bitcoin needs to be a bit stronger, and second of all, we need to break above two cents. All right. So I do think Jasmine today. Um, we'll spike up towards two cents and that we can get there. But the only way we can break above that is if Bitcoin starts to get some bullish momentum uh, or if, uh, if, if Jasmine's open interest keeps increasing. All right, then we can actually rally all the way up to 2.4 cents. That is in line with the technical situation. So I do think purely technically that's most likely. Um, but honestly, if we um, if we spike up to two cents and Bitcoin is not strong, so we, we reject off of that, I do think it's most like or, or I, I think you should be most prepared for more bearish momentum. All right. But that's purely due to the market circumstances and um, the what you should expect from the market right now uh, kind of goes against what you should expect from Jasmine technically and what you should most often listen to is the market. All right. So that's why I'm telling you something like this is most likely. Uh, I'll keep you updated on how we react to 1.5 cents because based on that we can kind of see whether we can actually get a bounce or whether we're going to crash, which is also possible. Um, but those are my thoughts. That's what I think you need to know for now. If you do have any questions, let me know down in the comments. But for now, thank you for watching. Take care and bye.